Okay, so and we're going to go over uh, questions, and it's pretty simple. It's on page 30 of the manual, okay? So questions can be your best friend and your worst enemy, depending on how you use them. We use questions because it guides the customer. You will love questions. You'll need questions. So you can ask bad questions. Yes or no questions are horrible questions. Good questions are ones that open the customer up, get them thinking, and get them more involved in the sale. So all I'm really going to do is give you some examples of situations where you guys can apply questions. Okay, one showing the usefulness of the manual. Bad questions. One. So do you have bugs? No. No. Okay. Freak. <laughs> You're shot down. So are you interested? No. No. <laughs> okay. Nowhere to go. <laughs> So is it cool? Can I come back later? No. No? Okay, I'll just come back later then. <laughs> There's nowhere to go, okay? Do you, have, do, you, do you have a minute to talk? No. No, I'm busy. Okay, you're going to get shot down time after time because no one's going to want to talk with you unless their kids are being carried away by bugs. Honestly, they're not going to want to talk with you. Good questions, okay? Open-ended. Get them talking. So how long have you lived here in this area? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> Even you can say, no, I'm really not interested. Yeah, yeah, totally. So have you guys been here for like more than five years? This is a pretty developed area, right? So get them, open them up like that. I'm going to go through this list because I want this on the video as well. How long have you lived in the area? The neighbors have been seeing ants and wasps. Which of those two are, have you been seeing more of? You can say, even if you say, oh, I don't see either of them. Right, but when you do see them, which one do you see more of? Okay, force them to pick an option, then you go into that scope of the surface. So how big is your backyard? See, Phil. How big is your backyard? Okay, the one I love too, when you're in the front, um, you're on the doorstep and be like, okay, this mulch right here, does this wrap around the side of your house? Is this going around back or is this just here in the front? And lots of times you're like, oh, it's around back. Like, really? Here, let me go take a look. Get them off the doorstep, walk around. Once you get them walking around the house, it's so much easier, okay? Is your backyard bigger than your front yard? Yeah. Okay, the reason I ask is, uh, I mean, all the grass, the bugs love it. It's, it just turns into one massive breeding ground. And so what we're going to do is set up, you've set you up with this granulation. Okay, so obviously your backyard is a little bit bigger. I'll make sure he hits that backyard to get you guys that extra protection. I'm just around that house. But we're going to lay these little pellets out. It transitions perfectly, perfectly into, into the aspect of the service. And it seems super natural. Okay, nice. Uh, how many wet walls do you have? In other words, how many bathrooms, um, kitchens, wet bars, whatever it is, how much, like where the plumbing touches. Uh, do you have a shed? This is a beautiful question. I use this on every single sale, okay? So, tell them about the price, okay? How much is it? You can go to scope, tell them price. Yeah, right now we can get you down for just 125 bucks a quarter, so it's super cheap. Now, do you have a shed in the backyard? Transition off the price, get to talking about other fees. Yeah, we do have a shed. Okay, perfect. Do you want my tech to go ahead and take care of that for free while he's out here? Yeah, I'd love that. Okay, beautiful. Wow. Transition from that. Is your garage going to be accessible to my technician? Or like, you have a garage, right? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> so, get the same yes, throw in the garage. Um, do you know why these beetles always show up dead on your porch? That's just one because you're going to say no, and they're going to be curious, and they're going to ask why, and you explain. And no, no offense, but where are the bugs going to go after we treat the neighbors? No, you're going to come here. <laughs> Not a scare attack, just saying. <laughs> so, <laughs> so questions. Okay, so I want to set up an example here. Let me turn this off. Um, give me a customer. Give me my long. Record a stash. And then I'm going to do it. So that. Can I do right. something really quick before yeah. we actually start yeah. with this? Um, all right. So, for people watching on the video and for all you guys, when he's doing this, when he's asking these questions, a big part, especially for first year reps, you don't know when to ask the question. So, you throw it out at the most random moments, and that's the reason why you ask the stupid questions, too. So, timing is just as important as how you ask it. So, um, follow this the entire way. Create, I don't think you get the other thing. I swear. Let it out. Create, 
<laughs> create, meet, uh, close, and resolve. So pay attention to when he's asking these questions and how he's using them. Big part of it is in his transitions. This is the easiest way to transition along with you know what your neighbors really like about this is this. But it's a great way to transition between these things and even during it to keep them engaged. When you start seeing their eyes glaze over, you start asking a question to get them engaged. Sorry, oh, that's what it's supposed to be. Okay, so I'm actually I'm gonna use questions from the manual to do this. Show you how you can use these examples. Okay, so say we not. So man. Hey, how's it going? Sorry to bother you, I know it's annoying. Yeah. Uh, just real quick, my name is Logan with Terminex. You've probably seen our trucks buzzing up and down the street here in the last few days. Um, I was just down the street talking with your neighbor, John. Okay, it's obviously, it's early in the season, so no one's seen too many bug issues right now. Uh, just, a, just a few occasional ants and wasps. So in the past, um, when you've seen the wasps and the ants, which, which one of those have you seen more around your property? Um, you know, we don't see too many ants. It's just probably a couple of ants on the outside. Okay, so more so the ants. And yeah. mostly, mostly on the outside. Yeah. So you said mostly, uh, when you caught those on the inside, were those on the main floor or in the basement? Uh, I mean, there were a couple in the basement, but they haven't bugged us. Okay, that's that's exactly what the majority I mean, no one's talking infestation here, just a few here and there. Yeah. Um, so we're going to be taking care of your neighbor, John, just for those few ants in the basement. Now, is your basement finished or unfinished? Uh, it's unfinished. It's unfinished? Yeah. Okay, we actually love those. So then, I love to write, take notes while I do, because it's it's subtly, it's always closing the sale. Like, unfinished? Okay, perfect. Okay, so what we're going to do, actually, is start off, we want to keep the bugs from getting in close to your house. Um, so we're going to do an exterior barrier for you. It's a liquid barrier. Um, we're going to spray three feet up these outer walls and three feet far. And that's going to wrap all the way around your house. Okay. Now, notice you have your mulch and stuff here in the front. Is that is that fairly new? Yeah, well, I mean, we put it out like every year, every spring. Every spring, okay. So is it like this all the way around your house or just here in the front? Uh, it's, I mean, it goes all the way around. It does? A couple of years in the back. Okay, can you actually come show me real quick in the back what you're working with? Yeah. Go around, around the back side of the house. Okay, yeah, sweet. So you got all over the place. The bugs love this mulch. Um, so this, the, the liquid barrier we do is going to push all these guys off your house. Um, like I said, while I'm here, I can get them super cheap, uh, super cheap for you. So are you usually home more in the morning or in the evening? Um, I have to be in the evening, but how much does this cost? Okay, sweet question. Uh, I thought I should have told you that already. How many uh, bathrooms do you have? Uh, three. Three, so two full, one half? Yeah. Okay. The only reason I ask um, is what, what we're doing for John is actually the interior as well. Um, there's a few that you caught in the basement. They're actually following the plumbing that like the moisture in any of those pipes. Okay, so what we're gonna do in the inside is in all your wet walls, just where the you know, your sink and the cupboard, where that J pipe pops in the wall. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna slip that cap out of the way and shoot this dust back into that wall void. Okay. Okay. So you said two and a half bathrooms. Yeah. Right? Okay. And do you have a do you have a wet bar or a laundry room or anything like that? So we have a laundry room. Right? Laundry room. Yeah. Okay. Take down a note. Okay, so we're gonna put that dust in the wall. So it's a residual product. So it sticks to the hair of all of these bugs. It's gonna flush everything out of your house, take it back to the nest, and wipe out all those brothers and sisters for you. Okay. okay. They said evening evenings work best. Yeah. I mean, I have to talk with my wife first, see if she really wants to. I mean, she's the one who does the financial stuff. Yeah. She usually can handle the bugs as well. Yeah. No. I mean, she tries. She tries. She calls me. Yeah. I don't know how it goes. <laughs> usually, that's bad handling bugs. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, so evening works best. That's actually perfect because I do have a few openings. Uh, actually, a few for tonight and then a few for tomorrow. Um, so would you say more of the four to six range or the five to seven? Uh, probably have to be five to seven. But I mean, like I said, I have to talk with her to check if like it's not a problem. Yeah, totally. Just run it by her when she gets out. I guarantee she'll have to get rid of these bugs. Okay. I actually noticed in the, around the back you had that shed, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you store your lawnmower? Or what do you what do you keep in that? Just a couple of gardening tools. Gardening tools. Okay. Yeah. So that's always a hot spot. We usually get some like mice activity in the winter or something like that. Yeah. And so what I'm actually going to do for you is do this extended coverage here. Okay. And that's going to be we're going to include that for free. Okay. So that includes all of these wood destroying insects that we obviously see here a lot in Jersey or Connecticut or whatever. Yeah. And as well as these rodents. Okay. So when my tech comes out, I'll have you do a full scope of the whole premises. 
to find those access points to see where they would be getting in. Uh, but we want to write that out. And the best part of the service is if you see anything pop up in between our set services, so obviously we come back every three months, just like every good customer company. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, but if you see anything in between right here, we're going to come back every single time and take care of that stuff for you for free. Okay. okay so we want to get you protected. That's honestly what your wife's going to love. Cool. All right. So you said, did you say four to six or five to seven? I can't remember. Five to seven. Five to seven. And how much was this again? Oh, okay. For two and a half baths? Yeah. Okay. So this is what it normally is. Uh, if I get you taken care of just after John, then we're doing everything for just 125 bucks a quarter. Okay. Oh, yeah. So it's super cheap. Now, your garage, do you usually park your cars in there, or is that more storage? It's just like storage. Storage? storage. Okay, yeah, that's typical. So see how like transition off that super hard? Another question, make them think. Like, okay, perfect. Let me just take these notes. All I really need from you, let me just grab your name and address here real quick for me. All right. Um, and then I'm just going to take a step back and uh, check your knees to see what we can find up there. Okay. And if my wife doesn't like this, then I can do it. Oh, I'll leave you my cell phone number. <clears throat> I mean, I guarantee she's going to I want to get rid of these bugs, no big deal. Okay. Uh, but if she has any questions, she can totally give me a call. All right, cool. And then wrap it up. So like, I asked a ton of questions, right? And that's exactly what you want to do. It leads the customer through the service. It's how you transition naturally through the different scopes of the service. Do you have any questions? <clears throat> so I saw like how you like were able to lead them on. What if they showed just interest in the very beginning? Okay, let's try that. So, like total disinterest? Yeah, but like, you're still able to get it. Mean mugging you. Okay. Mean mugging. All right. Just dirty so, Sanchez. -ism. pick a question. Pick one, pick one of the good questions for me to use. I'll try that. <laughs> Last one. Last one? That's going to be good one. Okay. <laughs> What's up, man? What do you want? Hey, how's it going? Sorry. Sorry to bother you. I know it's annoying. Yeah. <laughs> just real quick, my name's Logan. I'm the bug guy uh, with yeah. Terminex. I'm actually... Hey, actually, some of your friends came over earlier. Some of my prepared. friends? Yeah. Well, some door-to-door -door guy. We got yeah. all of them. Okay. But I, I think it's a bunch. They're so annoying. I know how it goes. Yeah. Okay. Um, so all I'm doing, just real quick, I have some trucks coming through the neighborhood in the next few days. I'm sure you know Mike down the street. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're setting him up with our full HR next year service. Um, he's been seeing those carpet grants. Okay, you know, everyone gets those here, they're super annoying. Um, so, we're going to be knocking those out for him. Um, and all I've been doing is talking to the neighbors. I mean, as we take care of several of the neighbors on the street, the bugs are going to be running. Yeah. And uh, no offense, but where do you think those bugs are going to take off to once we get rid of them? Hopefully, not come here. Do you guys have like a flyer or something like that? A flyer board should have yeah. come through a few days ago. I'm sure you saw it. Your wife probably saw it. Um, so, now we're just here filling those spots. Yeah. So. What he was seeing are the, were those carpenter ants. Now, when you see those ants, are they just here on the exterior of your home, or did you get them on the inside as well? We actually haven't been seeing any ants around here. Okay, perfect. It's obviously it's still early in the season, and that's what I like to hear. That's how I want to keep it. Okay, so we're doing a lot of preventative care. Um, everyone catches them later in the season. You know how it is in Connecticut. Okay. Yeah. So what we're doing here in the exterior of the home is a base spray. Okay. Um, it's not that kind of laser water you can buy from Home Depot for 20 bucks, all right? Yeah. This stuff, is, it's a good product. It's, it's eco-friendly and it's kid and pet safe. So what we're gonna do is spray three feet up this wall and three feet out. And we're gonna hit you with this all the way around your property. Make sure every, nothing is able to come too close. Okay. okay. Do you have a backyard? Yeah, we do. It's got a pool back there. Oh, cool. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, I'm coming over later tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can you just come show me that real quick? Yeah. Okay. So just that's like enough. Just work your way through it. If you ask the right questions, you can get anybody to open up. If you have been super firm and was like, no, 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 then you just bounce. Thank you. Don't burn yourself out on people who aren't going anywhere. Do you have anything you want to add right now? I don't think so. I mean, just looking at that sales cycle, if you look at that sales cycle, like the way that he transitions every single time seems to be with questions. It's the way you can transition very smoothly and it's the way you open up to him. It's also the way that you beat him to the punch. So for instance, when you end with price, like right when they give you a concern, before they can keep telling you no, 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 you transition with a question like, oh, so you guys have a shed in the back, right? or something like that. And it's a perfect way to transition to keep going through that sales cycle. So if you ever don't know what to say, questions are always a good thing to say.
or what the neighbor is really liking is this. I use those two things more than anything. They're super good. There was a period of like a month during the summer where every day I'd have someone say, wow, you're really good at this. And it's because they felt like they can ne they never had a chance to say no. Because I was always, I would stop and then ask them a question. And they're gonna answer the question, you know? And then it would lead me into the exactly the next thing I wanna say. And so I can guide the whole conversation based on my questions too. I wanna to talk about rodent care. Like, you guys have a shed in the back, right? Yeah, I, I've already seen that they have a shed because when I was walking up, I peeked around the side of the house. I already know the answer, but you're still gonna ask the question. You know what I'm saying? I walked around your house before I knocked on your door. <laughs> I saw you have the shed. <laughs> I mean, the, be the best way to, <clears throat> to sell people is by meeting their needs. And the only way you're gonna know their needs is if you start asking them questions. It can be the dumbest questions in the world, but them responding gets their body engaged, gets their mind engaged, gets them actually engaged, instead of that whole glazed over look, which a lot of us get if I start talking to you too much or if anyone starts talking to you too much. It's the same idea as in, cla in the classroom. Like, If you're not really well engaged, one of my best professors that I have right now, I hate her because of the fact that she makes us do so much work, but I've never learned more in a Spanish class than I have with this professor because she's always super engaging, always asking us questions, always getting us involved. There are two things, two final points I want to make. One, in the manual it says very important. Whenever someone says they have seen or currently have bugs, ask where. Then let's go take a look. Have them show you their problem, okay? Then start leaning towards that direction. When you get there, emphasize that it is unfortunate that the bugs are here. Then meet the need using one of the scopes of the service. Wow, these already made it inside of your house. Here's what we're gonna to do to get rid of these. Okay. Two, do not ask bad questions. You will feel so awkward and it burns you. I remember like when I first started, I'd like go through some scopes, the service would be like, all right, so is like five to seven or three to five better? Be like, oh, I'm not really interested. And then I'd say, Really? Are you are you sure? <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm sure. It just solidifies their doubt. Okay, like eventually I gained experience, like three to five or five to seven, which was better. Oh, I'm not really interested. Yeah, nobody really is. Okay. So another thing I'm actually throwing in here is this. And just roll right past it. Or ask sure. them another question. But it's don't don't try really hard to learn how to ask good questions. And this is actually really effective for outside of sales. Door to door. Got a girl you want to take out? Hey, like, you want to go out? It's Thursday or Friday dinner for you. She's not saying no. She's going to say it's Thursday or Friday. But it's only everything. Just like with your teachers. Okay? Luke, with that could interviews. really help you, dude. You might want to take some notes on that. If you have, inter okay. if you have interviews, be like, give them two options. You know, either I could do this or we could do this. You know, and you'll, you'll pick all these subtle tricks up and sometimes you mess around because you try and use them on each other. Like the head nod. No. The seat is already You get it? It's not as well. Like, okay, it's, it's okay if I turn this assignment in tomorrow, right? <laughs> All right, perfect. <laughs> but it's not like, no, 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 it's, a good, it's a good skill to have. How to ask the right questions, it makes a world of difference.